Hello and welcome to Excellent Academy. So let's look at how to expand fence that are actually in square root four. So how do you solve this? Um, my first task would be to express this in terms of or in index form. In index form, this becomes 2 plus x to the power 1 over 2 from the idea of indices. Alright, um, you could recall the formula. Recall that, recall that if you have a plus b to the power n such that n is uh, irrational, then it becomes a rational index. We said this is equal to a to the power n over 0 factorial plus n a to the power n minus 1 b all over 1 factorial plus n to the power n minus 1 a to the power n minus 2 b squared all over 2 factorial plus n into n minus 1 next up n minus 2 a to the power n minus 3 b cubed b cubed all over 3 factorial this is the 4 terms right first term second term third term and fourth term all right let's get this done comparing this and this it means that a is equal to 2 all right b is equal to x and a is equal to 1 over 2. So I have this term. Alright, so if I do substitution, this will now be equal to uh, a to the power n. a is 2. So it becomes 2 to the power 1 over 2 all over 0 factorial plus n here, which is 1 over 2. So it becomes 1 over 2 a. a is 2 to the power n minus 1. 1 over 2 minus 1. Then b, we said b is x. So x all over 1 factorial plus b. b is 1 all over 2 into n minus 1. That gives you 1 over 2, which is n minus 1 into a. a we said is 2 to the power n 1 over 2 minus 2 into b squared. b is x all squared all over 2 factorial plus one last one. We said n, n is 1 over 2 into n minus 1, 1 over 2 minus 1 into n minus 2, that's 1 over 2 minus 2 into a, a is uh, 2 to the power n minus 3, 1 over 2 minus 3, and finally b cubed, b is x all cubed, all over 3 factorial. So I have this. Work on this now. This is now equal to, of course, 2 to the power 1 over 2 gives you the square root all of 2 all over 0 factorial is 1 plus this gives you 1 over 2 into here is 2. 1 over 2 minus 1 gives you minus 1 over 2 into x all over 1 factorial is 1 plus this gives you 1 over 2 into 1 over 2 minus 1 gives you minus 1 over 2 into 2 so it becomes 2 into 1 over 2 minus 2 gives you minus 3 over 2 then this gives you x squared all over 2 factorial is 2 plus I'm having 1 over 2 into 1 over 2 minus 1 gives you minus 1 over 2 into 1 over 2 minus 2 gives you minus 3 over 2 
into this gives you 2. 1 over 2 minus 3, here gives you minus 5 over 2 into x cubed. All over 3 factorial is 6. That's 3 times 2 times 1. That gives you 6. If I work on this other one, this will now give you root 2 by 1 gives you root 2. Okay, plus I have this as 1 all over 2. To eliminate the negative here, I will take inverse. It becomes dot inverse of 2 to the power 1 over 2. Dot this is x. Alright? So 1 over 2 dot inverse to eliminate the minus here of 2 to the power 1 over 2, then x. All over, I'm having 1 plus this one gives you. So 1 times minus 1 gives you minus 1 all over 2 times 2 gives you 4. I have this for this 2. Next up, to eliminate the minus, I'll put 1 all over 2 to the power 3 over 2. Alright? To eliminate the minus, take inverse 2 to the power 3 over 2. Then next up, dot x squared becomes x squared with numerator all over 2. Plus, I'm having 1 times minus 1, that's minus 1, times minus 3, that's plus 3. So it becomes 3 all over 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So I have 8 into, to eliminate this minus, I will take inverse. So it becomes 1 all over 2 to the power 5 all over 2. Dot, I'm having x cubed. So it becomes x cubed all over 6. So I have this value here. Alright, let's work on this now. What do you get? Um, let me use here. Alright, so if I work on this, I'll be having this as root 2 plus now this gives 1 times 1 times x that gives x all over this is 2 this one gives you root 2 because we said 2 to the power 1 over 2 gives you root 2 it becomes 2 times this is root 2 to become 2 times root 2 that's 2 root 2 all over 1 okay plus next we have Minus 1 times 1, that's minus 1, times x squared, that gives minus x squared. So I'm having minus x squared all over, uh, this is 4, so I'm having 4 multiplying um, 2 to the power 3 over 2, alright? 4 multiplying 2 to the power 3 over 2, all over 2. So this all over 2. Mind you, this is numerator, this is numerator, and these ones are denominator. Next, I'm having plus, so I'm having 3 times 1, 3 times x cubed, 3x cubed. So it gives you 3x cubed all over. Work on this, it becomes 8 times this. So it becomes 8 multiplying 2 to the power 5 over 2. Alright? So here's my numerator. All over 6. So I have all over 6. Alright. Work on this now. It's now equal to, I'm having root 2. Okay? Plus, of course, this over 1 is itself because anything divided by 1 is that same thing. So this becomes um, x all over 2 root 2. Next up, plus minus is minus. I'm having x squared all over. Work on this. This becomes 4 into. Now, to solve this one here, if I have 2 over 3 over 2, this can be written as 2 over 3, okay, all into 1 over 2. Because 3 times 1 over 2 gives you 3 over 2. 
So from here, we said whenever you have 1 over 2 as your index, it means square root. So this will now be equal to the square root of what? 2 cubed. I have square root of 2 cubed. And if I further simplify square root of 2 cubed, it means equal to root 2 times root 2 times root 2. This is equal to root 2 times root 2 is 2 multiplying this 2 root 2. Alright, that means if I solve this or if I simplify this, my answer is 2 root 2. That means in this part, it becomes 4 times all of this here gives 2 root 2. As I've explained there, so this one gives you 2 root 2 all over 2. I have this. Finally, I have plus. So this gives you 3x cubed all over. I'm having it. If I multiply this, it becomes 2 to the power 5 over 2, which can be written as 2 to the power 5 times 1 over 2. 5 times 1 over 2 gives you 5 over 2. This now becomes equal to the square root, the so square root. The square root of 2 to the power 5, and that's equal to root 2, that's 1, times root 2, that's 2, times root 2, that's 3, times root 2, that's 4, times root 2, that's 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is now equal to root 2 times root 2 is 2, times root 2 times root 2 is 2, times next up, root 2. So it's equal to 2 times 2 is 4, times root 2 is 4 root 2. Alright, so if I simplify this, I'll have 4 root 2. So it becomes 8 times, this one gives you 4 root 2. So 8 times 4 root 2, all over 6. I have this one here. So this is my um, 10. Now in this case, I'm having a 10 dividing another dividing another. How do I simplify this? Let's say I have a over b divided by c. I could further rewrite as me saying this is equal to a over b divided by c. This and this are the same thing, okay? a over b divided by c. This will now be equal to a over b times 1 over c. And that's equal to a times 1 is a all over b times c is bc. So I'm saying, if I'm having 10 divided like this, the simple concept is to move this one here this way. So it becomes a all over, multiply this to b times c gives you bc. So this will be easily simplified as, keep this one constant there, a all over, multiply the lower two, b times c gives bc. So I'm having a over bc, the same answer here. So the concept is to keep this as numerator, multiply this two. Keep this as numerator, multiply this two. That's the concept. Alright, so this will now be equal to the square root of 2 plus x all over 2 root 2 minus, um, first of all, let me simplify this. This will be x squared all over 4 times 2 is 8. That means 8 root 2 all over 2. I have this. Okay. Plus 3x cubed all over um, 8 times 4 um, 32 root 2. This all over 6. I'm having over 6. Okay. So what is that? This is now equal to root 2 plus x all over 2 root 2 minus. This gives you x squared all over 10. Multiply this to becomes 2 times 8 root 2 plus multiply this to 3x cubed all over 6 times 32 root 2.
Alright, this is not the new root 2 plus x all over 2 root 2 minus x squared all over 2 times 8 is 16 root 2 plus this is 3x cubed all over 6 times root 2 is uh, 192 next up root 2 so this becomes the answer after the expansion of that so I have um, this answer after my expansion so this is how you solve problems of this manner